Hi. Hi. So we finally have this thing ready to go. I'll uh, kind of explain it to you real quick what we're doing here. Uh, we're using a large heat exchanger to take lava in through this bottom pipe here. And it's going to be outputting through four different output hatches here to these two on each side turbines. They are identical matches to these. And I'm sure somebody's going to say it that we could have saved ourselves lots of material because we should have taken one row of these casings out of here and cheated the casings and used it. But I don't like doing that. And it's not a good thing to get used to doing in GT5 because it's not possible in GT6. So it's got the same cobalt turbines and all of these. And then we have these two railcraft distilled water tanks back here uh, this one's completely full this one is still working on getting filled but this will take care of filling that pretty quickly we had to use huge titanium pipes to get the distilled water in because we have to have 32,000 liters uh, times two and I didn't want to try to pipe in four different ones out here and then we have these here on either side are going up to the roof and on top of those tanks uh, to recycle our distilled water back into the tanks. Each one has a extreme voltage battery buffer with eight Lapitrons in it. This one is not wired yet. Only this one is, and I'll deal with that later. So the only thing we need to do now is give this thing a test run. Uh, from the numbers that I worked out, we should be able to do 400 liters of uh, lava per second to give us 16,000 times four steam per tick. So that's why we have the four turbines. Now, the one thing that we have not set up yet on this is the way to recapture our um, Pahoho Lava, or Pahoehoe, however you'd like to say it. And I just completely put that on the wrong side of this pipe. Uh, so what we're going to do, what I'm doing now is giving us a machine shut off to shut off this lava tank. Um, I need to move it up a little bit higher than here, actually. I just thought about that. If I put it there, all these pipes are going to be full. I need to put it all the way up there. So let's go ahead and do that. So do we happen to have a, uh, a tank sitting around we can use for... Like, what kind of tank? Any kind of tank, Ender IO or GT Plus, I don't care. Mm -hmm. Just something that we can capture the Pahoehoe lava with. Screwdriver, screwdriver. Where did I put my screwdriver? There it is. Alright, so we want this set to work at all normal. That's what we want it on. So then when this is turned on, uh, crap, I forgot the, hold on, we need a thing. Oh, what? The iron door and two iron plates to make the shut off thing. Didn't we have some iron doors that we saved? Yeah. I got it. Oh, I need two iron plates. Alright, so I forgot to make the thing to shut that off. But then we'll be able to just reach underneath here, turn it on, turn it off. Um, we could actually put it on here and shut off the machine itself, but I'd rather shut off the 
lava going into it rather than shutting off the machine. That way, if we ever need to do maintenance on it, we don't have to worry about wasting out our lava. I could have swore I had... Um... Mm -hmm. One of those tanks setting around here. But I... Cannot find it. I have no idea. So you guys know, uh, we're getting this last part made. Uh, we updated to pre-31... Or, 31 pre-2 which has changed a lot of things. Most of our chemical reactor setups are going to have to be changed. Um, like our nitric acid setup is definitely broken at this point. Um, not sure what else is broken, uh, but there's been a lot of chemistry change done in this one. There's also been a new blast furnace added, the bricked blast furnace. So you won't need so much uh, bronze for the bronze blast furnace. Uh, I'm going to work on trying to get that made probably for tomorrow to take a look at it. And crap. What? Oh, there's just a green guy standing by our heat exchanger. Because when I broke the dirt out here... I broke a torch and didn't realize it. So I had to kill a creeper. Okay. So, let's go back downstairs real quick. And install this. Um, there's also a large chemical reactor now that you won't have to use cells in. It will be able to just take fluids and put out fluids. So that'll be nice, except it's, you know, a lot more expensive. It takes uh, tetrafluoroethylene to make it. So you'll have to set up that before you can actually make this stuff. So we want that on there. And we want it set to... Um, come on. Why will it not let me hit it? There we go. Open if work disabled. Only output allowed. Input. Open if work is enabled. Which should mean that if the lever is turned on, it will work. So that should be on, that should be off. Hopefully, we are right. Alright, so all we gotta do now is put this in place. That will allow the lava to start flowing. And then we can go up, hit the lever, Smack everything with a. Uh, has this got anything in it? This has got water in it. Give me this tank. Wait, I'm making one. Okay. Well, I found one that has water in it, so we can deal with that later. Here. All right. you. Alright, so now we gotta climb up here, install this on the top. This needs to go right here because this is where it's going to output it. And it'll automatically output it right into there. We'll change that out later. Alright, so take our soft hammer here. Make sure all of these are enabled and ready to run. And hope for the best. Hope we don't blow anything up. 
It's the first time I've run this, so. Who guarantees? All right, machine processing enabled. All right, cross your fingers. Mm-hmm. We go, it's turned on. So it's getting its lava now. And we are getting Bohofa, whatever lava up top. Yeah, but I don't see any steam. I don't see the turbines turning. Why are the turbines not turning? Did you <coughs> hit them? Mm hmm. You have your little tricorder reed thing, right? Yeah, I don't see where we're getting any power out of them, so no. it's not texture thing. And you're full up on the lava up here. Okay, let's turn that off and see what we can figure out here. There's definitely no steam going into this hatch here. Is there still no you have steam your tricorder? Hatch. We definitely have distilled water going in. Yeah, I do, but that's not going to tell me why we're not getting the steam out. You can tell if it's in the pipe. Okay, why does this one not have water? It's got water there. It's got water there. But it doesn't have water there. Hmm. Did I put the wrong one in the wrong place? Yes, that's an output hatch. That's not an input hatch. Okay, that's an output hatch. That's an output. Am I on the wrong one? Was I on this one? Yep. That is definitely an input hatch there, so I didn't screw that up. And it does have water. So why is it not outputting steam? I am quite confused here because getting the Pehoho lava is a good thing but it's not the most important thing we want the power out of it mm -hmm. right now we're just cooling off lava at this point that's not what we're trying to do we're wasting a whole lot of titanium to do nothing at this point. I should be able to get to that now. So I'm going to, I guess, not run this and ask Bloody in the morning if something got messed up because this definitely is the way we had it working for coolant when we did this on the Thylacraft GT5 for the update so I definitely should be getting steam out of here uh, so I'll have to ask Bloody and see if something changed that I'm unaware of so that was test one Hope you all enjoyed <laughs> watching us apparently fail at our test. And we'll be back hopefully tomorrow night with test two, and it'll work better. Have a good one. Bye.